Hello there, Ali here from Sports Templates. And today I'm bringing you guys a totally new kind of template that I've never released anything like it on the website before. This is a full uh, motion graphics pack uh, for sports designers. Uh, this is an After Effects template. Uh, usually we release Photoshop templates on the website, but this time we're taking it to the next level and giving you guys a file that you can edit inside of After Effects and create these cool social media uh, animations that you'd see used by major league teams like the NFL or NBA on Twitter or social media. So to get started with this template, once you download this template, you're going to be getting these two files. You're going to get two zip files. If you want to unzip the file on Windows, you just right click on it and you go with extract here and it's going to give you a folder like this. It's just going to unpack the file to be next to it. Uh, and it's gonna unpack all the files into this one uh, folder. Uh, once you get uh, to this folder, you can just, you gotta make sure that you have After Effects on your uh, on your computer. So if you have After Effects, uh, the latest version, uh, uh, CC22, you can unzip this file. And if you have an older version up to, uh, down to uh, 2017, you can unzip uh, this version. They're both exactly the same. They're just uh, designed to work with a legacy version of uh, After Effects. Along with these two files, you get this text file, uh, which includes links to the fonts and music we used in this animation pack. I'll get to this a little bit later. So to get started, you can just go into your folder and I wanna start with the uh, logo opener. You can just double click on it and just wait for After Effects to load up. Now, once After Effects is loaded up, you're gonna get prompted with this message that's saying that you have uh, fonts that are not included. So usually probably it's gonna ask you for more fonts. And for this, you can just go to the fonts link. And here it's saying that I'm missing the, the archive font. So what I can do is just double click on it and you can go uh, on, on the page and just download uh, the file. All of the all of these files, you know, the, we have Go Bold and uh, Soul Maze, as, uh, as well as Archive. They're all free fonts, so you can use them in your in your uh, animations. So once I've downloaded the Archive file, I can just right click on it and extract here. And then when I go inside of it, you can see uh, the files. ODF or TDF you can just pick whichever version you want. So if you double click on it, you just click install and that's pretty much it. And now that font is in installed on your Windows machine. Um, if you have a MacBook, uh, it's it's pretty much the same thing. You just have to click on this install font after you unzip it uh, once you download. So now once all the fonts are loaded, uh, we can go ahead and start working with this template. So to get started, uh, this is this is the logo opener. Uh, template and now we have the story um, uh, version loaded up you can see here we got logo opener story we got HD this is the HD version and uh, this is the post it's it's a, a square version that's that could, could work for social media like uh, posting on uh, an Instagram post or uh, on Facebook so I want to start with the HD version and the first we can just kind of move the seek a little bit just to see how the animation goes so with this template uh, there are three things three main things we want to change it's the name uh, of the team the logo and the colors to get started with the name you can see the list of layers here the top one logo name it's hidden you can see that the eye uh, icon here is, is is not visible so you can just click here and it's gonna make it visible up top here it says tigers so when you double click on the layer, you can just replace it with your own uh, team name. So in this in this sample, we're gonna be doing uh, a Bears logo. So I'm just gonna do Bears. And once that is done, you can see that any place, any location in the video where it used to say Tigers, now it's saying Bears. And it's it just, even here, even these uh, these designs, now, the one thing that you need to do if you want to change the font is you have to go in into each uh, one of these team names. You can see like team name six, team name uh, seven, eight, 
you have to go in and change the font individually. But uh, this is uh, th this this template is designed to fit these fonts, and they all work together well. So uh, it would be just easier for you to keep the font that comes in. But if you're if you're an expert in in, in After Effects and you want to do this, this is totally doable. Two things you can do super super easily is uh, changing the the uh, changing the color and the name uh, of the team. So now that we changed the name, we can just go back to the start of it and we can go to this layer, it's called color control. So once we select color control, you can go to the effects uh, control panel here. If you don't have it, you, you can just go to windows, to window, workspace and effects. Once it's selected, whenever you select any layer, you can see that the effects of that layer is selected up top. So go back to the color control panel. And now we have the main three colors of this template. So to start, um, I, I've already loaded up my uh, logo, which is this bears logo. And I wanna make the background green. So I could just copy this green color, just copy the color code, then go back to here and then just select this color paste this code and now everywhere where we had that brown color it's going to be that green color as you can see here it's all replaced by the green and now for the orange color i'm going to be using this brown color so i just select it copy it in photoshop then come back here and just click on the brown color and on the second color and just make it this brown and now you can see that it's alternating between the brown and the green the last color is this white I'm gonna keep it white because it's just a neutral color that works in all color combinations the last thing I want to do is change the actual logo so you can just go to logo layer layer number four double click on it and then go to project so once I select, see, you see here, I was selecting already effects. I just go to project and I'm just gonna go to my assets. This is the logo, just drag it and drop it in here. And it's gonna load up in here. So you can just also drag it and drop it on top of the logo. And you can see it's, it's already uh, placed on top. You can just hide or delete the Tigers logo. Then click X here to get out of it. And then go back to the main comp you're working on. And you can see the logo is already uh, replaced and at this point this video is, is pretty much done the last thing you want to change is this small text that's under the bears logo so you can just uh you know write like new your bears football and you can see it reflected in here at this point editing this template is pretty much done uh, the last thing you can do is uh, we've already given this video a little bit extra time in case you want to add any more information at the end. But let's say you found that last frame you want this video to end on. Uh, let's say it's this one. As soon as, soon as the logo kind of like disappears, you just keep the seeker here and you click hit on your keyboard. And this will make sure that this is the last scene uh, this is the last frame in your uh, animation. Once this done, you can just go to composition, add to Adobe Media Encoder Q, and just uh, wait for it to load up. Once it loads up here, you can just click on here. And make sure you have H.264 format up here match source high bit rate um, you can use maximum render, render quality and uh, bbr one pass this is just make sure that your final video is going to be high quality you just click ok and then just click this play button and just wait for the video to render once it's done you're going to get this check mark here just click on the output file path you click on it and this is going to load up uh, the file for you you just click it up and you got yourself a really professional uh logo animation in a matter of few minutes 
So these are these are pretty much all the steps you're going to be doing with most of these templates. You don't have to be a, an expert in After Effects, but if you want to do any custom stuff, of course, being an expert is going to help you. Uh, now move Mac, uh, we can just work on the player stats uh, template. So this one includes uh, something a little bit different. It's changing the player uh, images, which is pretty much what we did with the logo in the first one, but I'm just gonna run you through it just in case uh, you wanna make, you wanna know exactly how to edit this uh, template. Now, once this video loads up, uh, it's gonna look like something like this. It's, it's also the same thing. You're gonna get the HD composition. You're gonna get uh, this, uh, the post square composition one-to-one -one, and you're gonna get the uh, story composition. And for this template, I want to work on the story one. To get started, I want to start with changing the image of the player. To edit this template, you can just see that all these uh, layers are neatly organized and they are all named. So you can just, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You can just come here and, and figure out what each layer does. So for example, if you want to change uh, the, the image of the player, you can see we have a placeholder image. Uh, you can just go to player image here, just click, double click on it. And now I have my assets here. I'm just gonna grab uh, this player. I already made it, remove the background of it. Now you can see it looks a little bit too big. So you can just click S to control the scale of it and just scale it all the way down to kind of just fit within uh, the borders uh, of uh, th this uh, comp. And then just drop it down a little bit like this and hide the one the, the layer behind it, the placeholder there. Now, when you're done, once you're done, just click on the X here, and you can see that now it got replaced with the image we just added, and it's just gonna animate it accordingly. So, one more thing I wanted to show you is when you play this template, you can see you can see we got this little glitch right here. So, uh, if you don't want it, if if you just if if this is not your style, you can just go to this layer. It's named glitch, and you just hide it and now the glitch is is gone so you, you know if we re render that that part you can see that you can see that the glitch is gone all right so now if you want to change the stats you can just go stat one double click on it and this one it just has the the, the actual name of the first stat here we have passes let's say you want to make it fouls you can just write it right there you can just write it here and when you're done, just click X and you can see that passes now is fouls. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's just making it for the purpose of presentation, just showing you how to use this template. And now uh, the same thing goes uh, for the number. You got stat one, number one, it's all uh, related. So we just change the number, let's say seven. Save it, it's gonna just automatically uh, update. And you can do the same thing for the rest of the stats and uh, numbers. Now, if you want to change the color of, of this orange box, you can just go to color control and just go to effects. And you can see that it's this color A. You can see it kind of corresponds to this color. So uh, let's say we just want to also copy the green color from that Bears logo. You just go here, copy the code for that color, and then just paste it here and update. And you can see automatically updates. Let's say we want to do, we want to also change the logo. It's, it's basically the same thing. We just come here, grab the logo, put it in project. Just make sure it's in the project here and just drop it on top and just hide the Tigers logo. You can see that the logo here is updated. Edit the team name. So instead of Miami Tigers, you just do Miami Bears. Just click here to save it and uh, it's done. At this point, we changed the stats, we changed the colors, changed to change the image of uh, the player and uh, the animation is, is ready for you to uh, render. Now, one last thing I wanna tell you about is the music so now when you play this template
it had the music in the background uh, is playing and uh, the link is provided in here. So when you come here, you can play it and you can see that the music has an, has an audio watermark on it. Audio jungle. <laughs> Get this audio jungle uh, watermark on it. So what you need to do is in order to use this exact music, you need to download it or you need to buy it from, from this website. The link is provided. Uh, we can provide uh, a watermark free version because we don't own uh, the rights for this music. Uh, we only use the preview version of it in the template. We provided a link so you can just go and buy it. But you still have the preview in the file if you want to do some tests to make sure everything looks good before you go and buy that uh, music. And at this point, this is pretty much it for, for this template. Uh, using all the, uh, the remaining two templates is pretty much the exact same steps as these changing colors, fonts, and images. And with this template, again, just to reiterate, you're gonna get the logo intro like this, the logo opener uh, template. You're gonna get the sample, the score update template, where you're gonna get like a team versus team kind of animation. You can get uh, player stats, the one we just worked on, and you can get uh, samples of players lineup. Uh, well, this one, just gonna show you the whole lineup of your team. This one is a little bit longer, but it just follows the exact same steps. You just need to change colors, uh, images, and uh, the text, the content of the video. So this has been it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you can buy uh, this template from the link below. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you guys want more uh, animation templates, let me know so we can work on, on them. If there's anything else you think we should do, uh, please leave a comment and uh, Thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next one.